What's going on guys, Fully here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube, joined by someone that you may recognize, maybe not, but we're just gonna jump right into the questions. So today we're asking 10 questions to basically RBP in the face of RBP. Yeah. So the first question is, who are you, where are you from, and what do you drive? Ooh, good yes. question, good question. Uh, my name is Kelly Ash, um, I'm the GM and VP of Rolling Big Power, um, and I come from, I actually live in Ohio, um, but we are based in Southern California, and so I just travel a whole bunch. Yeah. Um, and I have a whole bunch of vehicles. I have a lot. Um, my 17 Super Duty, the gray and green one that we made, that is mine. Um, I have a 2013 Mustang prototype, Sweet. Roush prototype. Um, I have, uh, my husband has a Corvette, um, and I have a bike and a whole bunch of other ones. So a little so. bit of involved in just about everything yes. out there. Anything with a motor, I'm all about. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So RBP is basically this like powerhouse of trucks. We did a ton of stuff for uh, the entire truck market. Yes. So how did you get involved with trucks or what piqued your interest in, in joining RBP? Sure, um, you know, I, uh, I'm i one of those weird ones. Um, I was my dad's last holdout for a boy. I'm the youngest okay. of four sisters. So I got tools and guns and we tore apart motors instead of Barbies. So um, I got into it really early. Um, and you know, when we were looking at, um, I worked for Pilot and we were looking at acquiring RBP in 2015. And with my passion and my background, it just sort of worked. Cool. Yeah. And I guess some people probably won't know what Pilot is. Do you Thank want to you. just touch on that a little bit? Yeah. Um, Pilot Automotive is our basically holding company. Um, we own a bunch of different brands and RBP is one of them. Um, and so they're, they're our backers, but they're kind of more in the background. Gotcha, yeah. cool. So SEMA 2018, yeah. last year, you were there, I was there, we hung out for a little bit. What do you think was your favorite part? Because you guys had 56 trucks there. Oh, yeah. I know that was really exciting <laughs> for me to see that many RBP builds, and yeah. basically all in one spot. Some were yes. scattered around, but you had that whole row of all of them. We did. So what was your favorite part? You know, my favorite part was honestly probably the shoot beforehand and working with our builders because we're, we're a team, we're a family. Mm -hmm. um, and so doing the shoot beforehand, getting to interact with them, a lot of, um, you know, spouses came and it was it was a really, really fun time before the hecticness of SEMA got yeah, in the way. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you guys had like, you're almost like a tailgate party we did. Kind of thing going on. Yeah, it was fun. Awesome. So for our fourth question then, what do you think is the next big step for RBP? What's the next big thing happening that maybe people won't know about or it's not quite released yet? What kind of in insider information do we have what the next step is okay um, we are launching our um, RBP stealth power boards here in 10 to 14 days um, so that is a huge launch for us this year um, you know we unveiled them at SEMA yep. last year and now we are shipping officially coming soon um, and so that is a huge launch we're excited um, about and basically the first two production runs have actually already sold out. Wow. Um, so we're excited about it. Um, and you know, we'll talk with you guys a little bit more about the features and benefits of the power boards, um, but we're really excited about that watch. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. as soon as they get out and get shipping, we'll probably get a set here and then we'll do some videos on those and bring them yes, to you guys. I want you to use and abuse them. We definitely can do that. <laughs> so out of all the RBP builds that you guys partner with, mm -hmm. do you have a favorite? Oh no, I can't tell you that. Because there's a lot of them. <laughs> But is there one There's that stands out in the crowd? Oh gosh, um, my uh, 17 Super Duty um, is obviously my favorite. Yeah. But I also had my quad in it, and we painted and wrapped oh, it to that's match. Awesome. So that was super fun. Um, and I can't choose a favorite. My builders will have my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> guys are really tight too. Like you guys yeah. like all talk together. Oh my gosh. You know, everybody was yeah. hanging out at SEMA. That was something cool, super cool to see because there's there's a lot of other wheel companies out there that they might do a sponsorship or a partial sponsorship, but then you don't really hear from them. You know, you're just expected to post your photos on social media and yeah. then that's kind of it. You guys seem like you're really more involved with the entire build process and like everybody hanging out. So that was something cool, super cool to see at SEMA too. Well, yeah, I'm glad you saw that. I mean, that's that's exactly what we're doing. You know, we're, we're a team, we're a family. Um, you know, at some of the shows we go to, we have cookouts with just the team and the family. Um, you know, we def I'm talking to them a lot, <laughs> a lot every yeah. day, every week. So it's it's really good because I, I want to have that. You know, we do we don't do sponsorships, we do partnerships, sure. and I call it that on purpose because of that. Nice. Yeah. So when it comes to wheel designs and wheel names, I was wondering who who <laughs> does that. And it seems like you have a lot of them that are like you've got the Glock and the Assassin, the Silencer. There's yes. like all these like firearm related names. So who who comes up with the designs and then who names them? Sure. Um. So the 
the Glock, the Assassin, um, the HK5, all of those, yep. you know, kind of gun related names, those were um, from our previous owner. So okay. we inherited those. Um, we, you know, are getting a little bit away from um, the gun names as far as our wheels go, just because, you know, one of our core competencies and goals um, as an organization is no violence, right? Sure. Um, and so we're no violence, but we're not getting away from obviously gun um, gun advocacy. So we those names we inherited. Um, the ones that we currently name, um, I uh, I name, um, and we actually have a team that comes up with the designs, um, and we have a few drinks and listen yeah. to rock music and yep. the names come. <laughs> nice, yeah. yeah. We did that when we made our own Wheel Shine products. It was like, yes. we basically all sat down and we're like, all right, let's just like say everything you can think of and we'll add it to the big pile yes. and then uh, pick the best ones from there. So. Exactly, right. exactly. Nice. Okay, seventh question. This one, so this one's really important. Uh -oh. I don't know if you'll be able to answer it. <laughs> Chocolate chip, macadamia nut, or oatmeal raisin? Oh. Cookie, cookie flavors. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. 100%. That's such a basic flavor though. Oh. I expected more. No, no, no. Mm. Actually, I do chocolate chip with Heath Bar Crunch. Oh, okay, it. all right. And that that's awesome. Yep. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm a white chocolate chip macadamia nut. Oh. That's my favorite cookie. Yeah, yeah. those are good. Uh, we talked a little bit about how RBP is like just absolutely massive because you've got wheels, tires, your new stealth boards, grills, fuel doors, exhaust tips. Yeah. Like you have basically everything. Yeah. So how did RBP get so big? Sure. Um, you know, we were founded um, in 2001 by Roland, Roland Trudeau, who actually just got into the industry um, building trucks. And okay. then um, he would park them along the highway and get driving traffic that way. Hmm. Um, and so he started out with, you know, um, grills and small, um, small things. And then um, as the years went on, we added wheels. Um, obviously, that's what most people know us as. Right. And since we um, bought RVP, I added lift kits um, and just in the past year. Um, and then tires as well. So it's really just grown into, okay, you know, every other brand has one thing they're good at, right? Right. You know, you have wheels, you have a grill company, you have a lift kit company, but we're really the only one who does all of that. Yeah. And we do it well. Because <laughs> so. you even have, we just recently built a Jeep with you yes. guys. Yeah. And you even have fenders we, for the Jeep. Yep. Like Full complete actually, replacement. Yeah, steel, yeah, steel fenders. Most people are bolting on just, you know, just the actual, like, the plastic piece that Jeep yeah. puts on there, but you have complete replacements. Yes. And they're very aggressive looking. Yes. I love how they turned it on there. So. Yeah, no, they I turned know, out great. I know Stan was planning on bedlining the whole thing so it all matches <laughs> and it'll be a very aggressive Jeep. It forward. will be, it will be. Nice. Yeah. You touched on it a little bit uh, of how involved you are in basically everything that has a motor, but what are your interests outside of work? What else do you do? Cars, bikes, <laughs> motorcycles, boats? Are you a skier, snowboarder, like anything okay. like that? What else are you into? Oh gosh, yeah. Um, I grew up on a lake, so I wakeboard. Um, okay. And snowboard. Um, we have uh, quads, we have sleds. Um, we actually chase the snow in the winter because, you know, the snow is everywhere. <laughs> I can't believe right? that. Being from, uh, her, well, RBP being from SoCal, I can't yeah. believe you enjoy the snow. Oh okay. my gosh, I love the snow. You should have, we should have been up here when it was negative 60 last week. That yeah, was cold. That was fun. <laughs> it was 20 outside and I had my shorts on because I was like, oh, it's heat wave. Right? <laughs> So yeah, so everything with a motor. Anything power sports related. Um, you know, I, I'm one of those work hard, play harder kind of people. Gotcha. So love playing um, in anything. You know, we have our quads, we ride off road. I don't like razors because I like to drive myself. Okay. So we still, I'm still one of the few as a quad instead nice. of a razor. Nice. Uh, 10 is a little bit more of a personal question, uh -oh. but it, well, not that bad, it's not that bad. <laughs> but you're an ASC Master Tech certified. I am. You have uh, a bachelor's, you have a master's. I know you were pursuing a PhD. Yes. Are you still working on that I one? I am still. Cool. So education is obviously super important to you and you have all of this, you know, certification and accreditation and it just seems like you're really involved in everything. And I forgot what the actual question was. I'm gonna have to look at the sheet. <laughs> oh, what's that next? A good one. What's next for you personally? Like what what's your next personal goal? What are you trying to do? Um, you know, my next personal goal is really to finish my PhD. Um, I'm just What is that in, by the way? Um, that is in automotive engineering okay. um, with a minor in organizational leadership. Yeah, because you do a lot of the engineering work for the products that RBP yes. is, is making and selling. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty impressive. You don't always see that from like, you know, the VP might just manage you know, parts of the business and they're not actually involved in the, the actual design and you know, structural integrity and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. no, I'm very involved yeah. um, because I'm very particular <laughs> about yeah, how everything goes. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm right at the thesis and dissertation point, so I'm probably a year, year and a half away, but that's a huge personal goal for me um, cool. to be able to achieve that. How do you find time to do that? I don't know. 
I don't sleep. <laughs> I don't think you can with how much that you and RVP has going on. So no. that's 10 <laughs> questions for RVP. Thank you very much for coming by. Thank you. If you guys have any other questions that you want to ask, you can drop them in the comments because chances are somebody will be paying attention. I and either, will be too. Either your staff or our staff will answer them for you. Yep. Uh, if you have any other questions that you want us to ask to some other person or some other group, definitely drop those in the comments below as well. That'd Make sure you like this video and hit the subscribe button and go check out RVP. Peace. Thanks.